This is Neil Ratner Rock Doc here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock with support from Transcendental and my friend, the amazing dentist and rock star Bruce Milner. Visit Transcendental, his stunning new office at 2 Maverick Road on the corner of Maverick Road and Route 375. The Monterey International Pop Festival, held June 16th through 18th, 1967, came about as a way to validate rock music as an art form. The festival embodied the theme of California as a focal point for the counterculture and generally is regarded as one of the beginnings of the Summer of Love. Monterey was widely promoted, heavily attended, featured historic performances, and was the subject of a popular theatrical documentary film, and it became an inspiration and a template for future music festivals, including Woodstock. Over 30 acts performed, with established stars like the Mamas and the Papas, Simon and Garfunkel, Jefferson Airplane and the Birds, alongside groundbreaking new acts from the UK and the US, including The Who, and a little-known artist named Jimi Hendrix. Paul McCartney had insisted on including Jimi, explaining that the festival would not be complete without Hendrix. The Who were originally scheduled to close the show and go on after Hendrix. However, The Who were on the same record label as Hendrix, and as Pete Townsend relates, he was very aware of Jimmy's incredible guitar playing and spectacular stage show, and he had no intention of following them. Jimmy, uh, we just wanted to talk to you about the running order. And he's going, what do you want to know? And, um, and, I, and I said, um, I'm a bit worried about going on, you know, after you. And he said, yeah, yeah, I would be. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, no, you don't understand. And he said, I think I understand. <laughs> and I, and, I, and, um, and at that moment, uh, the, the idea came up to toss a coin. And Jimmy agreed. And so we tossed a coin. And Jimmy made the call, heads, and he lost. So he had to go on after the who. Because he lost. So we go on and we do our routine and uh, we smash our guitars and um, everybody's kind of fairly stunned. And then I go out and I sit with Mama Cass and Jimmy comes out and does roughly the same thing, but probably more elegantly. But anyway, he does roughly the same thing. And she turns to me and she says, Pete, aren't you supposed to be the guy that smashes the guitars? And I said, it's everything I do. Everything I've done, everything that I am, everything that I could ever have come up with is his now. Few people knew who Hendrix was when he took the stage at Monterey, dressed in a ruffled orange shirt and a very tight red pants. But you can be sure by the end of his set, nobody who was there would ever forget Jimi Hendrix. And rock and roll would never be the same. Okay, let's listen. From the 1967 Monterey Pop Festival, Jimi Hendrix and Hey Joe. <laughs> 